dashes. Hey guys, welcome back to Four Wheel Builds. This is gonna be an exciting episode. We're finally gonna pick up the painted Subaru BRZ from the paint shop. So let's get a crack on. I need a task to clean off this gunk or this double-sided tape that's on these inserts. I actually, I don't even know what they are. These fender flares or, God, that's what these are. Well, I thought the spirits will do the job 95%. Yeah, I've done one, it comes off, but yeah, it's still a bit hard work. Anyway, we nearly got this one done, so just get that finished off and we should be done with that. Bit of rocket fuel, bit of elbow grease and we remove the double-sided tape. So these can get dropped off to the paint shop and get painted too. The paint shop, the car was delivered here yesterday. I'm gonna go and negotiate the price to get the car painted. So let's go in and let's get cracking. Uh, and we'll ask if uh, there's some part of the process that we can record or we can uh, at least get something for you guys so you can see what the progress on the car is. And the car's been delivered to the paint shop, as you can see. It's going to get painted over Christmas and, oh, it's going to be delivered after New Year's, so unfortunately. Uh, that's the time now of the year. You can pop in later on in the week and see how the car looks in Primer. All right, so well, let's leave it for now and come back later on in the week. All right, guys. So we've got, uh, as you can see, the cars in a paint in a paint shop getting getting prepped. So we've got the fender, just getting some uh, some thin uh, filler just to make sure that it's all nice and straight. But other than that, it's all looking quite good. Likewise, here there was a little bit of damage right there, and that was yeah, that was there was a. There was a um, bit of a bend there, so that's all getting prepared. I can see the car's covered up and it's all coming along quite nicely. As you can see our fender, it does have some, do have some small dents in it. They all covered up, so oh, that should be fine. Okay, it will get sanded down and once once the undercoat comes on it should be should be looking good. Um, that's an, as you can see all the edge, edges are quite nicely done so it's all, it's all good. And lastly our front bumper. So our front bumper has been matted down and it's gonna have a undercoat placed on it but it's all looking looking really nicely most importantly the respect with the with the painters and I said the color the color is not a problem it will match quite nicely so they'll get, they'll get everything done for us let's have a look at the car the paint shop um, the progress probably isn't as great as I wanted it to be but then again I'm not in a, you know, in a great hurry
an exciting time. I've been advised by the paint shop that the car is ready to be uh, shipped back to the, to the body shop to be put back together tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll head out to the paint shop uh, and ensure that the paint job is quality. Anyway, uh, in order to get the car or get myself ready for, for um, going back to the body shop and putting the car back together, uh, there's still quite a few bits and pieces that we've got to get ready. Just little knickknacks and just things to get, to get ready. So let's get cracking on that. Uh, so first thing is, we've got to put this washer tank together. Uh, should be fairly easy. So let's do that. The next piece is we've got these seals that run at the end of these lights. That way they ensure um, a good fit with the bumper bar when it fits on top. So let's get these stuck onto these. And this is a good guide for anyone that buys Morimoto headlights for the BRZ. Uh, you need to buy these seals or these two seals. So, um, As you can see, they don't actually come with the with the seals, so you've got to buy these and stick them on. I've actually got some guides as to how these need to stick on, uh, just to make sure you get it right. So you might, might see them right here. So as you can see, this is the an original uh, 2018 Subaru BRZ headlight, and this aligns with it correctly. So it's exactly the same, uh, but the, I guess the grooves that are in here on the Morimoto light are a little bit different. So we need to actually cut this back a little bit uh, to make make it fit. Golden rule: measure twice, twice cut once. Perfect fit. Take the tape off and get this stuck on. One down, let's do the other one. There we go. Now we'll give you a closer look. That's what the seal looks like. Hey guys, I've just arrived at the paint shop. We're gonna go inside and take a look at the Subaru BRZ finally painted. So let's head inside and take a look. There you go guys. The car's been painted, as you can see. Um, it's got a bit of frost in it because it's the weather hasn't been very kind uh, for the last few days, so it's been, it's been freezing. But let's take a closer look. So starting off with the bonnet, as, as you can see there's the bonnet. Once again, it's, it's hard to say, see anything because it's, it's frozen over. Yeah. But the colour the color matches really, really nicely. There's no, at least from what I can see, there's no, there's no dents or anything that, that can be seen. Uh, same with obviously with the fender. That's all looking really, really nicely. The side the side skirt has been stuck on uh, back onto the, the fender. So that's done. Uh, the actually what the, I don't know what these inserts are. I don't know what they're called. Um, the wheels have also been 
fixed up. Oh, sorry, this wheel uh, had some scratches up on it. Well, it's looking really, really straight, and the color match seems really good. The door, so the door, were, the doors were good, but they, they did, did a bit of um, blending on the door. Let's well, see on the on the right hand side once again. The fender is nicely painted. The side skirt has been stuck on, and it's looking mighty nice. Not sure if you recall, but we had a what a piece of damage about here, about there. It's been fixed up, nicely blended. It's looking really, really good. I must, I must admit, it's the color. The color match is excellent. I can't tell it apart. I was, I've been looking. Um, obviously, it's a little bit hard at the moment due to the fact that there's a lot of moisture and frost on the car. Uh, but once we get it into the undercover of the panel beaters. Uh, the body shop will we'll take a better look at it but there it is so there's the car uh, like i said it's looking a little bit frosty at the moment uh, but once it gets into the warmth it will look better but it's looking fantastic i'm loving it i'm so excited guys it's been it's been a while that's been seen here but it's so nice to see it in this manner we've seen the car it's gonna get uh towed a uh, tow truck's gonna drop it off at the uh, at the body shop later today. So let's go fix up the costs. So actually, let's go pay for it. Oh, and let's take a look at the front bumper bay as well, uh, which is uh, inside. And there's the front bumper, as you can see. It's looking really, really nice. All nice, new, and shiny. And we have reached the end of today's episode. In the next one, we'll head it back to the body shop and start the process of putting the car back together. Remember, by subscribing, you're helping the channel grow. So hit that subscribe, like and post notification button. You can follow us on our Facebook fan page, on Instagram and on Twitter. Next ep episode will be out shortly, so make sure you don't miss it.